So when making a table for this, I kind of like to keep it symmetric. So if I can start with x is 0 and just uh, kind of work my way out from there, then it, you can usually tell us what's happening in the graph pretty quickly. Uh, with that being said, though, I mean, we can try different values, though. I'll go in the positive direction this way and in the negative direction this way. So you guys see how I'm, I'm making that symmetric? <laughs> 0 in the middle. And then I work my way out through the positives and negatives there. So for example now, when I solve this, I have y equals 2 times 0 to the power of 2 minus 8. This all just going to give us 0, so y equals negative 8. That's our corresponding value of y when x is 0. And that gives us this point right here. All right, let's try the next value. So we got y equals... Two, I'll, I'll use the positive, so I'll have a positive 1 here, squared minus 8. So again, we do have to do the exponent first, all right? 1 times 1 is 1, so I got y equals 2 times 1 minus 8. y equals 2 times 1 is 2 minus 8, so y equals negative 6, negative 6. And that gives us this point, 1, negative 6, about right there. All right, now here's the interesting thing about x squared type equations is let's, let's use the negative one. So I got y equals, I'll use a different color, sorry. y equals 2, but now my x is a negative 1. I'm going to square that and subtract 8. So y equals negative 1 times negative 1, though, is a positive 1. So I got 2 times 1 minus 8. y equals 2 minus 8. y equals negative 6. So this is looking pretty symmetric already. You see those two points right there? Right? Well, then, if you guys need me to, you're going to have to stop me, all right? So negative 2, what is that, 8, that's a 0. So this one's a 0 as well. And negative 3, 18, that's 10. Yeah. So that gives us these points, negative 2, 0, 2, 0, negative 3, 10, and 3, 10. I think I got those right. So what this does is this gives us a curve. Oh, oh man, that was pretty bad. Hopefully you guys is yes. All right. Okay, I'm I'm not asking for perfection on the tests, but it should be you know pretty. Yeah, you.